Welcome to Hello Python for Finance 372. Python is an incredibly versatile and powerful programming language, allowing you to write anything from simple scripts to entire operating systems. Learning Python is a never-ending process. Even experts who have used it for years are constantly learning new features and improving their coding practices. With this in mind, my goal with these videos will not be to teach you everything you need to know about Python. Instead, I will teach you enough to get started. And, more importantly, teach you how to teach yourselves throughout the semester and beyond. Now, let's begin your lifelong journey with a single step, downloading and installing Python using the Anaconda installer. You can download the Anaconda installer from their website for free. I'll put the link in the description below. Once you get there, find the operating system that you're using, grab the 64-bit installer, for me, that's for Windows, and download it. Once Anaconda is finished downloading, run the executable to install it. Once the installation finishes, we can open the Anaconda Navigator, which looks like this. For this course, our main environment will be Jupyter Lab. So let's go down here and launch Jupyter Lab. As you can see, what happens is that this notebook opens inside of our browser. So Jupyter Lab is a browser-based environment. To get started, let's orient ourselves. Here in the middle, we have a launcher where you can launch new notebooks. On the left-hand side, we have a few different tabs. We want to be in the file browser here to start. You may notice that my uh, theme is a little bit different. Everything may be darker than what you see on your screen. You can choose your theme here by going to Settings, Jupyter Lab Theme, and you can switch between light and dark. You can also change your font size and your code size here. OK, so in this uh, side here, we can create a new folder. Uh, example folder. We can open that folder. And then what we can do is we can create a new notebook. We're primarily going to be working in Jupyter Lab notebooks for this course. So let's create a Python 3 Jupyter Lab notebook by pressing this button here. OK, and we created a new and untitled notebook. All right, so let's rename it. Let's give it a name. Just call it Hello Python. There's a tradition in computer programming where your first program says Hello World. We're going to modify that a little bit just to say, hello, Python. So the way you do that is you go over here. This is your Python notebook. And we're going to type our first Python command, which will be print hello, Python. And then we can run that command. And it says, hello, Python. And that's all I'm going to show you for programming today. But before we go, I need to show you how to properly close down a Python Jupyter notebook. So if, instead of just pressing X and closing this or closing the tab, we need to go to File, and then we can say Close and Shut Down Notebook. Doing this will properly close down the Python notebook and allow you to exit Anaconda, turn off your computer without getting any error messages. All right, it'll give you a warning here. We say OK, and the notebook is closed. And now we can close out of our browser. That's all for today. Congratulations on taking your first step into a whole new world.